Hey guys. I hope you all had a really good Christmas and or uh, whichever holiday in this time period you celebrate um, and are going to have a great new year. Um, it's been rough over here, y'all. Um, it's cold, like single digits, cold with wind chill, negative cold. Alaska, I mean, honestly, I ain't even playing. I looked it up. Alaska is warmer than it is in Kentucky right now. Like, oh my goodness. It's six degrees outside right now. It's cold. It's awful. <laughs> I like cool, but I don't like cold. Work has been, like, awful. It's It's been just particularly bad. And then my baby who never, ever, ever has thrown, thrown up. Never. Yesterday, um, my aunt, she, she keeps him one day of the week for me um, when I work, which we're lucky to have that, but that way we, you know, we don't have to use childcare that we don't know. Um, but my baby's just, he's puking, throwing up. Mm. He's better today, and I know it's awful that she had to deal with that, but y'all, let me tell you, I, I'm kind of glad it wasn't me. That sounds terrible, but I can't handle Boo being sick very well, y'all. I'd have my baby, and he'd be puking, and I'd be crying. It, it'd be ugly. So, <laughs> And also, let me, let me say before I get into this box, I know that I've got all of this laid out here, and... We're not even looking at it. Um, but I know I've been terrible about doing any uploads or anything. Um, but it's like, it's so cold outside. I, you know, I'm not going, I'm going, I'm not sending my baby out to play with his daddy in really cold temperatures like this. I mean, if it's cool, that's all right. But this is too cold and it's been really cold recently. And that's when I do most of my demos and stuff. Um, I stop doing them at night for the most part when he's in bed because it, I just, I don't know. I have to be kind of a little more quiet and eh. anywho. Um, Y'all, I'm sure y'all don't want to hear like a two-year-old screaming in your ear, like running around in circles, because I'm sure he'd be like kicking bath bombs, and I know he would. I know him, y'all. So, yeah, um, until it warms up in the spring, there will probably be, it continue to be very few um, demos and things. But anyhow, um, let's get to this company because I'm rambling way too much. I'm just tired. I'm in a rambling mood. Um, this company I have seen on Instagram. I'm pretty sure it was Instagram. And um, they are an Etsy shop. Um, I've seen some of their stuff and it's really cute. So it's close enough to the new year. So I went ahead and ordered some things from a few different companies. This being one of them. So this is Sinful Aromas. Here's her card. Here's the back. And just opening this box, I mean, this, this is really cute. Um, her cards are cute and everything. Let me sit this over here. And I think this is pretty neat. Um, it's nice she puts her, when her next products are coming out, her Valentine's Day release is going to be on the 15th. So she puts a little card so you know. What is this? So I heard someone loves cold processed soap. Look inside. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, 
All right, let's see here. I can't even remember. Uh, maybe. Uh, she has a little note on here. Thank, she's thanking me for my purchase and threw in some freebies for, it says for my lightness and shipping. But y'all, I don't, I don't think the shipping was light. I mean, I ordered this on the 23rd, y'all. And I have ordered bath products before and it's taken three weeks to get them. So I think that's daggone good shipping myself. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna scooch this back out of the way. That way we can pull everything out and look at it. Ooh. So there's a really cute little baggie. Looks like there's some samples in here. And she has a, a lot of different things on her shop. What I purchased was um, three bath bombs. So, ooh, this is hand and body cream. And y'all, I need it right now, look at this. My knuckles and stuff is tore up from this cold. So this is Honey Love. I don't know if y'all can, there we go. Oh, that smells good. Mm, it's kind of sweet. Look how thick that is too, y'all. Mm. Yeah, that feels really good. It's nice and thick, but it's not, um, mm, it's not like, um, it's not like greasy thick, and y'all ignore that right there. That's, that's not from this. That's, that's my uh, angry skin. Um, it's not greasy at all. It absorbed right in. It feels really good on my skin. Oh, and that smells really good. It's, um, it's sweet. I, I'm on, honestly can't explain that, but that smells really good. It's almost like it's, it's kind of sweet, but it's not like a syrupy sweet. And it's almost like it's got a little bit of like a floral in there, but it's not a, a cloying floral. It's just kind of like barely hanging out there with the sweet. It, it smells good. I like that. That smells good. Okay, so this one is um, Cocoa Butter Cashmere Hand and Body. Okay, so this is Lotion 2. Whoops, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, it's lotion. Ooh, and this one's nice and thick, too. This feels... I don't think that's the same. Is this a... I think that's different formulas. Hang on. Is it? Or is it just all in my daggone head? Nope, it's the same formula. I don't know why this one, I don't know y'all, ignore me, psychosomatic I guess. This is a fresh like scent, oh that smells good, that smells good too. I think I like this one better. This one smells really good, this is more like a, this is more of like a, kind of like a spa kind of fresh like scent and this is more of like a sweet scent. Okay. Oh, they're really cute. Her packaging, y'all, is really cute. Look how cute that is. That's like if you were buying these for like gifts, they're already <laughs> wrapped, y'all. Um, so this is 
Let me see here. This is Baby It's Cold Outside. Um, she's got her, she, oh, she's got directions on here, the ingredients, and then be careful, y'all. <laughs> but look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little snowman on top. So that's really cute. Mm, I can't really smell it in here. Um, look how that's really cute. Uh, I, all I'm really smelling is the the lotion I have on right now. But let me see if I can find um, her scent description real quick. This is already a ten minute video, y'all. So I might as well just look it up. Um, so this one is. Sparkling notes of lime and sweet orange with subtle floral and fruit and a hint of musk. So that's that one. Then, and this is how they're, they're wrapped up. They're wrapped up really well. So this one is Lemon Berry Moisturizing Bath Balm. And this one's really pretty as well. Oh, that's cute. So right up here in the top, it's got like a little lemon slice. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you guys better when I dim my whip. But there's a little berry right there, and there's a like, like a little lemon wedge right there. So, let me see if I can smell this. Yeah, no. She's got too, too good a wrapping, y'all. I can't smell it. So, this one um, says, It's a personal blend of candied lemon, sweet strawberries, raspberries, and a soft peak of musk. So, this one's really pretty. So it looks like these are seven and a half to eight ounces. And oh, there it is. Okay, I can hear. Here's the other. So here's this one and how it's wrapped up. And right up here in the very top is a little red cherry. So this one is cherry apple mojito. And um, all three of these guys are um, moisturizing bath bomb with cocoa butter and shea bub bubbling, um, bubbling bath, shea bubbling. Hmm. I think there's a typo there. So it's it's bubbling shea butter, um, like whip. I'm I'm thinking. Let me see here. Um, this one is. Candy cherries, lime, sour apples, and soft notes of coconut um, and musk. And all three of these bombs, y'all, were six dollars. Is what they were. I don't know if I usually don't tell that, um, but ooh, I can kind of smell this one, y'all. I can kind of smell like the um, citrusy notes. So look how cute those three are. Okay, let's see what. She's got quite a bit more stuff in here, y'all. Um, let's see here. Oh. 
That's cute. Oh, damn it. All right. This one. It's a little, it's like a little um, a Christmas sweater. It has bells on it. So this one is Grandma Made Me Wear It Ugly Sweater Bubble Bar. See if I can. Oh, there it is. And it looks like right now, y'all, she has this one on sale on her site. Um, this one. Okay, so it looks like this one is a um, is a dupe of Honey I Washed the Kids. The fragrance is a, a dupe of that. My goodness, y'all. She put in all kinds of freebies. Little extra goodies. Oh. Let's see. This is... This one's cute. This one has a little bell. So this one is Figs and Fairies. It's got little um, little paper scrunchies in there. Oh, and there's a little. Let's see if you guys can see it. There's a little bitty fairy. With a little wand right up here on top. I know it's hard to see. Let's see if I can find this one real quick. I'm trying to hurry, y'all. Yeah, I don't see this one. So I can't tell you guys the scent description on this one. But it's a really cute, like pale purple. And um, like a pink, almost like a magenta color. I can't really tell. I can't really tell the scent in there. Um, but it's cute. Now let's see. Oh, so... Oh, and it's pretty. Look at these bars, y'all. And she is right. I love soap, cold processed soap, y'all. I used to make it, and I have a great appreciation of a good bar of cold processed soap. It's so much better than that crap you buy in the store, the the detergents. And I know a lot of people I know a lot of people like it and some of you that's watching really likes detergents and I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying I, I me personally, I like this better. And look how cute this is. So this one is Polar Express and look how pretty. I mean, you don't get this with some of that old detergent soap that you buy out of the store. Look how pretty that is. It's got like some, um, like a grayish and to a light blue and a medium blue and that white all swirled together. It's really pretty. And there's a little polar bear on top. <laughs> that is that, ooh, there's a hole. Mmm. It's like a fresh scent. Mm. And it's, look at that guys. It's a nice hard bar of soap. And these are big, big old bars of soap. Let's see, put him right there. And this one, I was saving this one. I've shown that one and saving this one because Look how cute that is. So this is meant to be. 
So it's mint chocolate chips scented, I'm guessing, is that's what it looks like. And it looks like it's got little, um, up in the top, it looks like it's got little chocolate bars, little chocolate bar embeds up there. Look how cute that is. Pretty swirl in there. Oh, it's a nice recipe. It's nice and hard. Let's see. Ooh, and I can smell, I can smell like, oh, there's a little tiny, tiny hole down here and I can, I can smell the mint through there. Mmm. It's adorable. And this one is huge as well. And let me give you guys a tip since we're 20 minutes in. <laughs> if you get a big, beautiful bar of soap like this, I wouldn't or I don't put the whole thing in the shower. Um, what I do is, you, is generally I'll take a nice sharp, nice sharp knife and I'll cut this in half. I know it's not as pretty anymore if you cut it up, but it's still pretty. Cut it in half so you don't have your whole big bar of soap in the shower because that moisture from your shower is kind of going to melt your soap. So cut it in half and just take the piece in there, which it's easier to hold anyway if you would do that. And put this at the far end of your shower when you're done with it and don't sit it in standing water. That way it can, it, you know, it can dry and it's not just going to sit there and be a soppy mess and melt and all that good stuff. Your, your soap's going to last longer. Um, cold process soap, because it's not a detergent, y'all, it's not... It's not as hard generally as as like a bar of the detergent soap. So it's gonna melt faster like if you leave it sitting. Any soap is, any of that is gonna melt if you leave it sitting in standing water, obviously. But um, this, the, like the hard, the cold process soaps, um, they're not as hard generally as one of those detergent bars but they're awesome y'all i would rather have a bar of this than any any of it it just to me it it just it's like it cleans better and it it just doesn't i don't know i don't know i, I just it's like my skin feels better i, I can't explain it y'all if you've used detergent all your life try it and see what you think which you you may not like it because you're used to it the detergents but Anyhow, I'm I'm just rambling around in circles. Look at my pretties. And I also want to say thank you very much to Samantha, um, who is, I'm guessing Samantha is the owner of Sinful Aromas Bath and Body. Um, thank you very much for the extras. You really should not have done that. Um, your shipping was still really good. Um, but I love them and I'll use them. Um, I'm really slow doing these demos recently, but I'm going to get on it, y'all. I'm going to show y'all some. All right. If there's any one of these, um, these really pretty bath bombs that you all would like to see, just let me know down in the comments. And during some of these demos, I'll open up um, the soap so you can get a better look at them. So keep an eye out on that. All right, y'all, since I've talked your ear off and bored you to tears, I'm going to say bye. Y'all have a good day.